Devices like the Keto Mojo are the best way to tell if you're in ketosis. Today I'll show you how to use it to get the best results. So testing your blood ketone levels with the Keto Mojo is pretty simple. All you have to do is take one of the blood ketone test strips, which come in the blue pouches, crack that open. Careful not to damage the test strip inside, it's always a little tricky. Okay, so you carefully take the test strip out and you take the end with the tiny little blue dash and insert that into the top of the Keto Mojo device. Okay, the device will beep but automatically power on and I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a tiny flashing symbol of a blood drop which indicates that the unit is ready for a test. So then we take the Lansing unit, then we take a fresh Lansing device, unscrew the top of the Lansing unit, put the little disposable lance in until you will hear it and feel it click. And then you can see there's a tiny little round blue tab at the top of the lance and that's the shield that covers the sharp needle point. You gently twist that tab off and you can see that it reveals the needle and then you put the cover back on and then it has a setting from one to five on how deep you want the needle to go depending on whether you have sensitive skin or tough skin uh, I've got this set as a four and then you're set all you have to do is it's got a little trigger button on the side here so you take the tip of the lancing device hold it against your finger and press the trigger Okay, and yeah, the blood's starting to come out of my finger. It's a little bit shallow, so I'll have to encourage that to come out. And so then you take the Keto Mojo, and you take the very tip of the test strip and touch it against the blood droplet. And then the unit beeps and starts to count down from nine, indicating that the blood draw was successful and it is conducting the test and it comes out as a 1.3 so anything above 0.6 you are in dietary ketosis so this morning i am pretty well into ketosis and then when you're done you can there's a small ejection button on the back and you just slide that and it will push the test strip out and you want to be careful about disposing this because uh, it has your blood on it, and you certainly don't want to contaminate anything else so that's really all there is to it, to use the Keto Mojo to test your blood ketone levels and the test for the blood glucose is pretty much the same, only you use one of the brown blood glucose test strips instead. So that's really all there is to it. The Keto Mojo and similar devices are the most accurate way to tell if you're in ketosis or not, which is super important if we're on the ketogenic lifestyle. I did an earlier video on how to calibrate and set up the Keto Mojo so you make sure it gives accurate results and also an unboxing to show what comes with the unit you can find that video here hope you found this helpful if you liked it please give this video a like and leave a comment below if there's another video you'd like to see me make that would be helpful for you on the ketogenic lifestyle and please subscribe so that you'll know when we produce more videos thanks for watching